So I've been going through the Agul Power Box and quite a desire for one. So I bought a bunch of them and this one is the next one chronologically that I possess. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie herself, and well, let's get right on to it. Roger Ackroyd. He knew that a, that a woman he had loved, Mrs. Ferrers, had murdered her own husband. And she had heard from Mrs. Ferrers' dying words when she had committed suicide that someone had blackmailed her about that information to get a bunch of money out of her. And he knew that a letter from the Evening Post would reveal the man's name. Here's where our dear narrator, Dr. Shepard, comes in. Dr. Shepard is the narrator for this book, and he is a trusted friend of Roger Ackroyd. So Mr. Ackroyd invites him over for dinner, and together, they open the letter, and Dr. Shepard asks Roger Ackroyd, Mr. Ackroyd, to read it out loud. He's quite pig-headed, though, so he decides that he wants to read it alone, and sends the doctor home. And as the doctor is about to sleep, he receives a mysterious phone call. He grabs the phone, and he hears from the phone, from the butler of, well, of Roger Ackroyd. Roger Ackroyd has been found murdered, sir. You must come back at once. And he runs, he runs over to the house, and he finds Roger Ackroyd murdered, stabbed in the back with a dagger. A man, Robert Payton, who is the stepson of the late Roger Ackroyd, is the current most suspected person, and his fiancée, who is Miss Ackroyd, decides to call in an elderly detective who has, well, retired to the home right next to Dr. Shepherds. And he is from Ireland. He has a peculiar little accent. You might know him as Detective Porter. And so Detective Porter arrives at the scene, and he starts to investigate. And I might want to tell you, warn you, that not everything is reliable, and nothing that is not that is proved that is not completely proved by at least two witnesses is confirmed, and you can trust no one. And the knife behind your bag always comes from the person that you at least expected to come from. And that is all that I can tell you, because the mystery itself, I think you would like to read it. Because the actual solution for this one, the actual murderer, was possibly the most surprised ever from a mystery book. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. As usual, I do not go beyond like half of the book for mystery books by the fact that by the certain rule that I don't want to spoil the end of the mystery, since the solution is everything in a mystery book. And if you want to know the solution, buy the book or borrow the book and read it yourself. It is a great book. And, and yeah, have a great day and goodbye.